Categorical syllogisms are called that way because they are made of categorical statements. It means a statement that relates two types of categories of things. The classic thousands years old example uh, is cats are mortal, Socrates is mortal, therefore Socrates is a cat. Let me give you an example of categorical syllogism called the illicit major. We'll illustrate it with a fallacy I've heard a couple of times during the coronavirus crisis. You know that all people about 70 years old are vulnerable to the virus. Vulnerable in the sense they have a higher chance to die from it. Hence all the measures to decrease interactions with the elderly. So here is a fallacy that I've heard a couple of times. All people above 70 years old are vulnerable to the virus. None of my friends is above 70. Therefore, none of my friends is vulnerable to virus and, and I should not pay so much attention to it. Well, that is a big mistake. They say that all elderly people were vulnerable to the virus. They never say that young adults were not. It suggest, I suggest we figure out what's happening with a Venn diagram. They are very useful to understand syllogistic fallacies. It's possible you are hearing the words Venn diagram for the first time, but I'm almost certain you have seen some in your life. You know, there are those like, diagrams composed of circles that uh, correspond to categories of uh, objects or people or whatever, and you try to make sense of the various intersections between these categories. Let's apply them to our coronavirus example, shall we? We need three groups of people, those who are vulnerable, those who are above 70, and those who are your friends. So here are the elderly people in orange. The scientists said all the elderly are vulnerable to the, the virus. We can see here the intersection between elderly and vulnerable people. I'll put it in yellow. And I'll leave the remaining of the first circle in black to show that all the elderly are all situa are situated in this intersection. Now I'm seeing none of my friends are above 70 years old. So when the intersection between my friends and the elderly is empty, um, I put it in black. Um, so, so far so good. Now if based on this diagram, which is correct, you say none of my friend is vulnerable, it means that you are saying that this intersection here between your friends and vulnerable people who are below 70 is empty. Well, no, it's not. Look, we do not put it in black in the first place. So some of your friends are vulnerable. And there are lots of people in their 30s or 40s that died from the virus. Even, of course, less than in the 70s, but yet. Uh, it doesn't mean that you, the intersection was empty. So be careful about syllogistic fallacies and don't let fallacious reasoning threaten your life or the life of your loved ones. There are a few other syllogistic fallacies out there. Some are a bit trickier than this illicit major one, but they are fun to learn. So feel free to delve into the topic a bit more.